Hi y'all folks, this is Max from htcevohacks.com. We're gonna go unroot our HTC Evo 3D. Um, very simple to do. Uh, we're gonna first basically um, relock it and uh, and then we basically have to run the RUU file. This is for Windows only. Um, you can only do it on Windows. You, actually, there's a way you can do it on Win, uh, Mac and Linux, but I haven't been able to get it done. So just borrow uh, borrow someone's your friend's Windows computer for a couple uh, for a day or you know, and uh, basically or steal one too. Um, you'll put your phone into Fastboot. The fastest way to do it is take. The, uh, the back cover up and uh, pull out the battery, put it back in, put the back cover back in, hold down the volume down and the power button, and you should be voila into bootloader mode. And here, um, basically, you'll choose fast boot there, hit the power button, it'll say fast boot, uh, connect your USB cable, it'll say fast boot USB, um, leave it alone. And go to your computer. Next, uh, download this uh, file called fastboot.zip and unzip it, and uh, preferably, preferably put it somewhere um, easy to find. Um, I put it in my C drive, and you'll get the fastboot.exe. That's all you really need. And then open up a command prompt um, for your Windows system. For Windows 7, it's start search, and then type cmd, and you'll get this little window. Um, if you have uh, other windows, just go Google it. It's very easy. Um, or you can type command also, I think, for Windows XP. Um, and then you'll go back, go to the directory you copied it to, um, unzipped it to, go to fast boot like that. Oops, fast boot. I'm sorry, that's, that's a backslash this way, the opposite of that. Um, that's actually Korean font it shows you as a uh, like a one which is like almost like a W but it's actually a backsplash backsplash backslash uh, and then go to fastboot like that and type fastboot uh, OEM lock all right and if you don't have drivers installed um, just make sure you have drivers installed you can double check it go to control panel hardware and sound device manager for Windows, XP, and Vista, you can uh, go Google it, how to get into Device Manager. And you should get something like My HCC. If you don't have that, um, go install the drivers. I'll have a link to the drivers. You just have to run the driver uh, program, HCC drivers. And once you've done that, um, hit Fastboot OEM Lock. And it says Unlocked on my phone there, right? And uh, I'm going to enter. And it says lock successfully, um, fail, status read failed, don't worry about it. Um, what do I do now? Oh, I'll show you that it's been done. Um, you can do this by taking the battery out and putting it back in. And uh, hold down the volume down and the power button and it should say uh, re-locked. You, can you can't actually get it to the original original state um, but uh, Sprint will usually take back relock phones um, so long as you have a stock ROM with no super user in it they won't give a damn um, I've actually took an Evo 3D with a custom ROM overclocked one of the employees um, I think he, he liked my ROM he didn't know anything about overclocking so he's like yeah I'll give you a new phone right away um, so if that doesn't work, check out other Sprint stores. You know, Sprint's usually pretty good about it because they're still like the third largest carrier, um, still behind AT&T and Verizon. They want more customers. They want to push them away. Um, so it says relock now. All right, and uh, put it on fast boot again, and uh, plug in the phone and it'll say fast boot USB or you can also reboot it um, but I, I think this is fine and then leave it alone this is sorry I'm trying to talk too fast I'm getting hungry um, and then go back to um, go download this file called uh, where is it where is it um, this file called I'll have links where you can find it RUU underscore shooter underscore blah blah 2.17651.5 um, this is the RUU file you'll need and uh, go download it, have links, download it, simply run it. Oh, sorry, let me run it. Um, simply run it. Where is it? Oops. 
There you go, run it. It's it's actually running, it's it's kind of slow. And make sure you don't have uh, some other stuff running because sometimes um, if you have a bunch of stuff running, it might not work. There you go, it's popping up now. It's popping up now, say yes. And uh, basically this program kind of runs slow. Um, and if you get errors, you can try on another computer. And uh, for some reason, it's, it's in Korean. My Korean font took over my my programs now. But but it's it's the same thing. Just just follow the directions. You should be all good to go. Um, there we go. Um, so it says all this stuff. Just click on that thing. It should be in English for you. But um, and click next. This is next. <laughs> Um, a cream phone sometimes takes over all the programs and click there click next and uh, it will start um, unrooting your Sprint Evo 3D back to 2.17.651.5 and uh, if you're on another version like a GSM version Rogers or European Asian just go find the RUU, the latest RUU you can find. It's in the same format. Um, go go Google RUU GSM, and you, it's the same method. Just use that um, that RUU instead of this one. And uh, hit update. It says update. And uh, it's taking kind of forever. There we go. And click next and click next and let me switch the angle for some reason I I have two windows here and it will not it thinks it's it wants to be on the screen so I'll have to go over here and show you so that's that's the program running and I'll show you that it's uh, my phone is now on ACC like that it's working and just leave it alone for like 10 minutes and when you come back it should reboot uh, by the way it will erase all your settings apps it will leave your uh, I think photos and videos alone um, just in case you can back up all your stuff you know use titanium backup um, SMS text backup to back up text and now it's it says it's you know it should be in English for you but it says um, Android ROM image updating yeah, it should work fine here. If for some reason you get an error, some kind of error, and it stays, sticks on ACC, it might be that you're on a newer version. Maybe by the time you see this video, it's you know on uh, like way way newer version. Then you can find the newer RUU. Um, go Google it, and uh, I'll I'll probably update my video. I'll have another video if you know if people can't unroot it. Unroot it, and when this is done, it should be totally unrooted. Um, the next step, all you have to do is basically um, get get rid of all your personal photos and uh, stuff on your SD card, or just take the SD card and take it with you. Put a blank one there instead. Um, so it says uh, updating signature, and uh, you can return it to Sprint. Usually, they won't even they won't even know. Well, they won't even go to Bootloader to check if you. Uh, you know, relocked it, but just in case they just ACC put that there, which is kind of evil. If they're gonna let people, you know, hack their phones, they shouldn't have to track us, you know. So it's almost done, and uh, yeah, it's, I'm I'm thinking about getting the uh, what is that? Oh, let me show you the progress here. I'm thinking about getting the ACC One X. I highly recommend it. It's a 4.7 inch screen. It's got um, it's got the 8960 Qualcomm S4 processor, which is a uh, is that a dual core? Yeah, it's a dual core 1.5 gigahertz. Um, is it? No, 1.5. Yeah, 1.5 gigahertz. But it's supposed to be super nice and super fast, and also the camera is supposed to be even better than Galaxy Nexus. You can take uh, photos while taking a video, which is cool. And um, that's probably my next phone I'm getting. I think they'll have one for Sprint. Uh, I'm hearing rumors that that will be the next Evo. 
Maybe they'll call it EVO 1X or something. Um, I'm also going to get the unlocked version which comes with the Tegra 3 quad core processor, um, the unlocked international version. So I think that I, I really like the phone because it comes with uh, ICS and also Sense 4.0 and they've updated. I did a video uh, if you go to my YouTube channel and it's really nice. I, I really like the layout. Um, they really cut everything out. ACC kind of, they're kind of, uh, they fell behind probably last year. They did, you know, last year through this year, they kind of fell behind to Samsung, but they're really, you know, trying hard. And, uh, you know, if there's competition, that's only makes, you know, other companies better. And ACC is, I think they're gonna come back. Um, they're definitely a good, you know, they're one, of, they're the first company that made Android phones with the G1 phone, so. Um, and also the HTC One X is pretty much the sequel to the Nexus One. Um, the design is, I really like the design. I really lo used to love the One X, uh, Nexus One. And I really like the One X. Um, I highly recommend it. Don't get the One One S. It comes with a crappier CPU, um, a lot less resolution, it's smaller, but if you're gonna get smaller phone, then I would get something else with a uh, better processor. Get the Droid Razor, it's nice. Um, so it's almost done here. Uh, it says updating radio and it should reboot and we should be all good to go pretty much, 100%. Uh, if you get to this point, congratulations. Your phone mm -hmm. has been uh, unrooted. It, it actually says congratulations. <laughs> um, so let me switch the camera angle real quick and uh, Get back into my new over here. There we go, it's still rebooting. And when it's rebooted, your phone should be fully unrooted back to us uh, 2.17.651.5 software version. And also, if by the time you see this video, it's a couple months later and there's a uh, higher version, you can you can use this method and use the software to update it. You know, you don't have to find a new RUU. Uh, but if the RUU doesn't work, then you can find a new RUU. So, but it should work. So that's done. You can pretty much take everything out. That's you see the stock um, Sprint Evo 3D thing there. And uh, it seems like the timing seems pretty much right for the One X. So around June this year, that's only four, five, six, three months away. We should see the Sprint One X, Sprint Evo, Evo One. Maybe they'll call it. I don't know. Maybe you guys can guess. So this is almost done. And now you can take it back to Sprint for another phone, or you know, put it in the water. Um, I just think the Evo Evo 3D wasn't as popular as the uh, the previous Evo 4G. Um, one of the one of the reasons maybe that Epic 4G Touch they're also promoting, which I also have, and it's a great phone. Um, oops, we ran out of video space there. Um, so I rebooted. it. Um, so it's everything's completely stock. Uh, everything's been wiped. All you have to do is now save. Um, your personal data, your all your porn um, and stuff, and put it in your hard disk before you return it, or take the SD card out. Anyway, uh, thanks, y'all. That was how to unroot your ACC Evo 3D on HBoot 1.50 using the ACC Unlock method. Now, also, it should be similar for Rogers and GS other GSM Evo 3Ds, just a different RUU file. Um, yeah. Okay, so I'll just show you that it's, everything's been back to stock. And uh, if you root it using a revolutionary method, it's even easier. All you have to do is copy over um, the PG IMG uh, zip file to the SE card and you know reboot into it. Bootloader, which I have instructions. Check the uh, HTC Evo 3D. Uh, <sighs> Check the HCC EVO 3D uh, FAQ cheat sheet over at hccevohacks.com um, if you're on the revolutionary. You don't have to even bother doing this method. So let me show you settings and about phone and software information 2.17.651.5 and you can also go to settings about phone and uh... <laughs> And uh, let me see, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? More? No, no, no. 
Uh, oh, there we go. System updates, and you can do soft ACC uh, updates, and hit check now and to update to the latest one. Anyway, I, I'm gonna go now. I um, hope you enjoyed it. If you like, <laughs> um, don't forget to uh, don't. If you want to check out all the ROMs, don't forget to subscribe to our uh, email list over at accevohacks.com where we update you once a week uh, with ROM reviews and tips and whatnot. And uh, we don't share your email with anyone else. And if you're on YouTube, don't forget to hit that uh, um, thumbs up button and also uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. If you did, thank you very much. And uh, you guys rock. And I'll see you guys um, later. Oh yeah, see y'all later.